I don't understand why you're having bread on bread on bread. <laughs> and the one thing that Oldham is known for is I want to absolutely love it. But I don't absolutely love it. It's me again, Shira from Foodie Meets Food, and in this video, I'm going to show you must try foods in Manchester. Come on, let's hit the road! Many people will try and convince you that Manchester is the second capital in the UK. We all know it's Birmingham, really. However, if you decide to include all areas in the Greater Manchester Metropolitan County, there is a population of 2.8 million people. In this video, I will be exploring Greater Manchester and understanding the origin and history behind some of the best food found in the city and surrounding areas. So I'm here at Eccles and I'm stood outside a location where the original Eccles cakes were sold. But as you can see, it's no longer a bakery and clearly they don't sell Eccles cakes. So come with me, let me find out where I can find Eccles cake. I got my Eccles cake, which we just found out it's Charlie cake, and I also got a Manchester tart. Let me have a sip then show you. Ah! So I got an Eccles cake, which is actually not an Eccles cake. Apparently, Eccles cakes are smaller, and this are called Charlie cakes. Basically, the same filling inside, which is currant, it's got lemon, it's got oranges, a few spices. So it's basically the same filling, but just a bigger size. I can taste the currants, I can taste the spices in the currants, I can taste the lemon and a hint of orange. That is good. It reminds me of mince pie with a different kind of a crust. We also got a Manchester tart. Let's try this bad boy. Manchester tart is, it was invented in Manchester of course. And it's a tart that has got jam at the bottom and then in the middle it's custard. Then it's topped up with desiccated coconut and then it's got a maraschino cherry. Yep. That is decent. Mm. You can taste the tartness from the jam and then sweetness in the custard and the custard is nice and cold and then the desiccated coconut have been toasted a little bit and the pastry is just flaky. It just flakes. It just really, really good. Right. The next thing we're going to try is another really popular Manchester dish. Come with me. Let me show you. We made our way over to Bolton and visited Ye Old Pasty Shop. It is a well known establishment that has been open for over 120 years. Being very popular amongst locals, I had a strong feeling this would be the best place to try a pasty bum. What is a pasty bum, you may ask? Well, you're about to find out. Come, let me show you. And there's even a cube. <laughs> Listen, this is ridiculous in a good way in the sense that i don't understand why you're having bread on bread on bread but we're here for it and we're gonna try it for sure and this is what it looks like i'm excited for this because i've never tried something like this mm, 
I did not know what to expect. It is mushed potatoes. I actually thought I would get like diced potatoes. You know how you'd find in a samosa. But no, that's good. Let me know, would you eat something like this? Or rather, have you tried pasty bum? If you've tried it, did you like it? I actually dig it. I like it. Oh. It is mashed potatoes inside. And then it's got meat. The meat is minced beef or minced meat, whatever meat they've used. But that tastes so good. Wow. Carbon, carbon, carb actually works. I love it. Our next stop is Uncle Joe's Mint Bowls, located in Wigan. You may recognize the packaging as they can be found in many independent corner shops and even in supermarkets. You can also buy them directly from the shop next to the factory and that's what I came to do today. I've just rung the bell and placed my order and so I'm waiting for a small packet of the Uncle Joe's mint balls. Basically when you get in, you place your order and then wait here by the stairs and then they bring the sweets from the top to you. And you can't pass through. There's a chain right here, you can't pass through. But as you're waiting, you can see some old pictures of how it all started. And William Santos is the inventor of the Uncle Joe's Maples. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, for some reason, I thought it would be something different. I thought it would be like a factory and you can see them making the sweets, but you actually just place your order, come in, place your order and you get your mint. So let's try one. That's what the packaging looks like. So they're all packaged individually. It's a nice mint. It's sugary, it's minty. It's what you would expect for a mint. Well, on to the next place. You have arrived. You may have all heard of the Barry Black Pudding Company, which is basically a black pudding company that manufactures the black pudding. It's one of the biggest in the UK. I had come to see if I can purchase one or two, but they don't sell it to the public from here. So I'll have to get it from a local shop because you can get it in any local supermarket. But I'm definitely having black pudding for breakfast. <laughs> We've just gotten to Oldham, which is the final stop of the day. And the one thing that Oldham is known for is rag pudding. I know, you're wondering, what is that? It's basically sweet pudding filled in with minced meat and it's got onions as well and then it's cooked in cheesecloth which is also known as rug in Oldham and that's why it's called rug pudding. Well, come with me, let's try it. Also, we must try chips and gravy because it's known as a thing in the north. They do chips and gravy a lot. I'm so excited. It smells so good. It looks really, really fresh and it was steaming hot a second ago. I had to walk opening it so that it can get, it can get a bit cool. Anyway, let's get into it. She told me that gravy is good. That gravy is good. Mm. Does anyone know why they do gravy on chips in the north a lot? Because I'm curious to know why did it start in the north and why do they do it like constantly? Mm. It's banging. Anywho, let's move to the person we've come to try. <laughs> or rather, let's move to the let's move to the rug pudding, which is what we came to try. See what it looks like inside. That's the sweet pastry that's the minced beef but it looks shredded to me and then it's got onion that kind of looks like homemade to be honest and it's been cooked in like a cheesecloth 
which is also referred to as a rug. Mm, I want to absolutely love it. But I don't absolutely love it. It feels like you're having pasta and minced beef. It just doesn't feel complete to me. Well, we're gonna wrap it for the day. We have had really good food which originated in Manchester. It's not everything that originated in Manchester that we've tried today and we'd like to come back. Let me know what city should we try next. You let me know. I'll go with what you're telling me. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and don't miss out on any videos. So click on the notification bell. That's it for today. Till next time. Bye bye.